This is a fan-generated show. If you would like to support us, please go to jamieglazov.com and also don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. All your support is greatly appreciated. Hello, this is the Christine Williams moment brought to you by the Glazov Gang. I wrote about one particular depressing story on Jihad Watch that affected me. It took a while for me to regain my normal mood. It involved a young lady from Saudi Arabia, Dina Ali Lasloum, who cried out for help, but was sent to her doom in Saudi Arabia. I thought, where are the feminists who purport to care about women's rights? Here is Dina's story. She tried to get to Australia to seek asylum. In a self-recorded video, she sadly explained that at a stopover in the Philippines, authorities took away her passport. She also talked about her fear of violence from relatives who may come to bring her back home. In fact, there were reports that she was fleeing abuse from her family in the first place. Dina pleaded with airport workers in Manila, according to a Canadian lady who befriended Dina at the airport and became a witness. She reported that Dina was crying hysterically and explaining that she needed urgent help and that her uncles were coming to kill her and she needed to get to Australia, according to the witness. Manila airport personnel ignored Dina and they treated her as though she didn't exist. Other witnesses say that Dina was forced onto a Saudi Arabia Airlines flight from Manila back to Saudi Arabia. In fact, multiple passengers told Reuters that they had seen a woman being carried onto the plane screaming. One Filipino woman stated, quote, I heard a lady screaming. Then I saw two or three men carrying her. They were not Filipino. They were Arabs, unquote. No one has heard from Dina since or knows anything about what happened to her. A young lady desperate for help, backs turned on her, and the silence is deafening. Western feminist activists who take to the streets in rage against Trump, against wage gaps, chauvinism, and any and every possible injustice against women in Western society real ones and also imagined ones are the loudest voices being heard. But what about the crimes against women being committed by those brown men? Those crimes are being largely ignored, just like Dina was ignored, like a worthless commodity at the airport before being bound up like a criminal and sent to her likely doom. Ironically, to call out such crimes earns a Westerner the label of racist. But who are really the racists? It is those who embrace the bigotry of low expectations, those who ignore criminal and torturous human rights violations because they're being committed by those people. And it's to be expected that those people can get away with such behaviors because they're judged according to ethnicity and religion, and the low expectations of their ethnicity. Somehow, I don't think that a Western white male anywhere will do away with openly dragging a woman screaming to be abused and even killed. It's too uncivilized, barbaric, misogynistic, evil, brutal. But it's okay for those brown and black people to do it. But where are the multitudes of feminists to advocate on behalf of women beaten in Islamic states? Women getting acid thrown in their faces, being stoned to death mercilessly because of some accusation against her. Who cares about infidel women being assaulted in every which way, in the most gruesome of ways sometimes by Muslim men? Or those who are even invoking Islamic texts and praying during their assaults. These female victims are human beings with human feelings, but the silence is deafening. It is disgusting to see activist feminists parading in the streets, wearing unmentionable hats, focusing on their personal emotional issues, wearing their scorn and hatred openly, but distancing themselves from women who are suffering harshly. 
The toleration of the intolerable has become commonplace under the oppression of Islamic supremacy and fear of being branded Islamophobic and racist. The kind of insanity that has gripped our society is one of a false indoctrination stemming from a history of colonialism that has long gone and has been replaced by constitutions which uphold human rights, the rule of law, and policies of wide open immigration, even to the point sometimes of detriment to democratic societies. And even before colonialism, Islamic supremacism, brutal conquests, and sexual slavery and savagery against women raged on. And the savagery continues against women today, despite the blaming of colonialists for every Islamic problem. Dina is one lady who has gone missing, but her cries for help represent multitudes. The Saudi embassy in Manila has said the case is a family matter and that Dina had returned with her relatives to, quote, the homeland. Those who care about women everywhere need to speak out more. And those embarrassing women parading those hats as a powerful feminist symbol needs to be outshouted by the voices of reason, justice, and love for humanity and the real proponents of human rights. Voices who care about Dina and every other woman who's being murdered and assaulted because she is being deemed inferior in the eyes of Islamic supremacists. Please remember to support the Glazov gang at jamieglazov.com and make sure you're subscribed to the Glazov gang YouTube channel.